Good day everyone. This is a small circuit that I want to introduce. Automatic night lamp. Do it yourself. That is, you should practice this yourself when you get the components. The lamp is very small. I mean, the circuit is very small, but it's very useful. Most especially at night, you can use it in your home. You can use it in your office. You can use it anywhere. And because it saves energy, you don't need to incorporate any switch into it because it's automatic in operation. This lamp is useful for everyone, especially in areas where people face challenges due to the absence of light during the night. As I have said, this device is very small but effective. It glows in the night and goes off during the day automatically, thereby saving energy during the usage. This basic principle is used and developed also for street lights. Yes, this is the basic principle they use in automatic street light, even in all these solar uh, street lights. You can incorporate this, but maybe with bigger components. The components use a transistor, light dependent transistor, which is LDR for short, light emitting diode, which is LED for short, battery, jumper wires, breadboard, resistors. The light dependent resistor is also called the photoresistor. Some call it photoresistor. And the resistance of this LDR decreases with increase in light intensity falling on it. That is when light falls on the LDR, uh, the, there is a decrease in the resistance. And when LDR is placed in darkness, the resistance increases. But when light falls on it, the resistance reduces. And we have different types. We have some that are smaller than the one shown in this picture. So it is advisable you get a bigger one for, uh, for a good sensitivity. Transistor. This is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signals in electric circuits. It could be used in different ways. Uh, there are basically two major types, which is NPN and PNP, based on the formation of the, of the transistor. And in this project, the common emitter uh, one that is the common emitter NPN transistor is used. That is the BC547 issue. Some use 557, I think that one is PNP2, so it depends. So the resistor, basically, you know, resistor usually, depending on the resistance, are used to reduce the current flow in the particular circuit. So it depends on you, it can be used with, uh, in connection with maybe a capacitor to time a circuit. So it can be used in so many different ways. So the resistor is a device used to limit the amount of current flowing into a circuit. It could be used with other components also to perform different tasks. In this project, I use 100 kilo ohms and 200 ohms. Battery, usually the battery is of 9 volts type and is used to power the circuit. Then jumper wire is used to interconnect the components of the breadboard together. Breadboard is also called the solderless board because we have two types of boards commonly used for electronics circuit projects. We have the Vero board, that one we solder on this permanently. But this one, breadboard is just used for testing purposes. The basic circuit for the uh, for the project, that is the circuit diagram for the project. At least you can see that is a very simple circuit and the the R1 controls the amount of, that is the 200 ohm, I use it to control the amount of current flowing into the LED, that is the light emitting diode. So you can decide to increase it if the LED is not glowing very big. And I did not use the common type of the LED. Yeah, that is the green, the yellow, the uh, and the red, which is the commonest type you can find. So I use the white one for, a greater output and this is the bc547 this is the ldr that is the light dependent resistor and the r2 basically is used is needed in this circuit to control uh how much light is needed that is how much current is needed for the led to turn on and this is the battery uh the battery for the supply i use as you will find in the next the next uh next slide I use a 9 volt battery, which is the commonest one. But if you want uh, a longer time, let me put it that way, you can use all the 6 volt battery of a good amperage, maybe like the rechargeable one, a small rechargeable one, maybe that 
can hold up, up to maybe four to five farms. Yeah, that would be a good one. Following the circuit diagram in one of the slides, as you can see, I have placed the components on the breadboard for testing purposes. These are the components. This is the light dependent resistor that is called the LDR. These are the carbon resistor, 100 kilo ohms, 200 ohms, and these are the LED that is the light emitting diode. And this black one, tiny one, is the BC547 that is the transistor. And these are the jumper wires. And this is the battery enabled battery for testing purposes. You can see we are seeing a broad daylight and that's why the light is not coming on but as darkness falls on the healthy half then the light will continue to glow so let me just try to cover the light dependent resistor with my hand or with anything so as you can see as i'm covering it as the darkness falls on the healthy half the light begins to glow the more the darkness the higher the intensity of the light you can see as you can see so if I cover with my naked hand too, you can see as I'm covering it, you can see. So when darkness falls, automatically it will come up. And when there is light also, then automatically it will switch off. I want to change the LED into a surface mount uh, LED. Let me put it that way too. Yes, all those tiny surface mount devices. So to see if it will perfectly work too. So this is it. I want to use this one. So I'm collect connecting it now. So you can see I have connected it, and as you can see, see as you can see, as darkness falls on the LDR2, I'm covering it with my hand. You can see the light is glowing. Can you see it? The light is glowing. So the circuit is perfectly working so this can be used in your homes you can put it just construct a small circuit and put on a night boot battery and you can use all this uh, rechargeable battery of maybe 4.5 amps 6 volts it will work perfectly it's night already as you can see and the bulb is well lit but if i want to use my touch light to illuminate the LDR, you will see there will be a change. As you can see, this is the LDR. You can see the bulb goes off. Then, as I'm taking the touch light further away from the LDR, the LED begins to glow. I'm moving it closer to the LDR, the LED switches off. So, that's the effect of illumination on the LDR. When I off the touch light, we see that the LED will come up again. Thank you. Thanks for taking your time to watch this video. Get the components and do it yourself. It's a simple circuit which I believe when you get the components from many electronic shops, you'll be able to practice it. Just join it together and certainly it will work. Please like, comment and subscribe for more tips on do-it-yourself projects. Thank you very much.